And as I always say, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe um, or leave a comment if you'd like to. I have everything ready as usual, so I'm just going to start um, your reading for lovely Leo. Uh, the first card you have for your past is, yes, the Nine of Swords, yes. Um, obviously, I'm seeing a lot of stress around you. Um, at this time, you could have been thinking about something over and over and over again. I'm seeing something in your mind that's going over and over and over again. This is something that came out. This is something that was said. Um, yes, I'm seeing something that was brought out into the open that was hidden for a long, long time. Um, something was kept from you. Something um, was, you know, underneath that was kept from you and then suddenly hidden from you for a long time. And... Um, it came out, something was going on behind your back, I'm seeing. Whatever this was, um, it was a great big shock to you. I mean, I think that for a while you knew that something wasn't quite right. You were kind of thinking, something makes me feel not quite right about this, I don't know. And then suddenly it came out. So even though you kind of knew something wasn't right, it was still a shock um, when it came out. So you might have even been getting headaches um, because I'm seeing a lot of things going around and around in your head, hurting your head. Um, it might just be that, you know, you're stressed and upset about this and this these words were going around that came out. And, uh, you know, you were trying to go about your day-to-day -day life, you're trying to do everything, but it was always on your mind, always. And it was something that really kind of changed the course. It was like you were going one way and then suddenly um, your heart and your mind went a different way and you just didn't know how to cope with this. That's what I'm seeing. Um, the next card you have for your past is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, so yes, you um, yes, I'm seeing again. Yeah, I'm seeing this could be a love situation, and um, this news or this thing that you found out really kind of just suddenly changed everything. You put a lot into this, a lot of work into this. You did a lot for this person, uh, not just for the relationship, but but for the person personally, for them personally, and. Um, more work than you should have actually and I think you know at this time you were looking back on this you were upset about this and you were thinking about this you were thinking I I spent a lot of time in this I spent a lot of energy time on this person I put a lot of work into this and um, this really just isn't fair so I'm seeing you kind of thinking you know I wasted so much time on this you know, and, and you, you can't get that time back. You definitely cannot get that time back. But you have time in your future that you don't want to waste in your future. Don't miss out on that. So I'm seeing, you know, don't um, don't think that you spend so much time on something that you have to keep working at it. I mean, you might decide to do that, but I'm seeing here that this is something quite serious that's come out about this person and it's really hurt you. And you don't want to be around someone who makes you feel like that. So I hope you're moving on from this person if you haven't already, but um, I am seeing some doubts. I am seeing some kind of you being unsure whether to actually move on or what to do. Um, I think you might just be processing the shock. That might be what it is. The last card you have you passed is the Fool. So yes, I think you knew that you had to uh, start all over again. You had to start again away from this person. I think you were thinking that, yes, I really think I do have to move on from this person. But I'm also seeing that, you know, there's a part of you that was thinking, oh, I put so much into this. I don't want to give this up. You know, I don't want to be the person that gives up on people. I don't want to be the person who gives up on things. And so, you know, the fool's free. He wants to jump off cliffs. He wants to try new things. But this white dog is trying to tell him to um, stop, to come back, to come back to what's familiar. Don't go out into the unfamiliar familiar this dog saying come back into the familiar but the familiar is what hurt you so please be careful about this I can see that you are too, in two minds at this time and obviously I don't want to tell you what to do but yes you don't want to be around someone who makes you feel like that feel like you're feeling in the nine of swords you just don't want someone who makes you feel like that I know I'm repeating myself the first card you have your present is the king of cups yes so this person, yes, I'll just tell you what I'm seeing. This, I know that you have doubts. You're thinking, shall I stay with this person? Shall I move on? I want to move on. I know I really should, but I'm kind of thinking, well, I put so much effort into this. I put so much into this person. I really still care for them. Maybe this, maybe that you might be thinking of excuses. But yes, they were hiding something from you and it came out. 
And I'm seeing at this time that they might still be hiding more things from you, I'm sorry to say. So there are going to be more things that need to come out. You know, and I'm just, look at this king, look at his eyes, like they're, they're going backwards and forwards, they're going from side to side. You can't trust people who don't look you straight in the eye. Um, so if this resonates again, you know, if you still can't make up your mind, at least take some try time away from this situation or this person. Try to clear your head because I keep on seeing everything going around and around and around in your head and you can't get a clear in your head. If you take some time away from this person, they might be saying, oh, come back to me. They might be trying to convince you. Your own head might be trying to convince you. And yes, take some time away. Take some time by yourself and just really process everything. Really start to think about everything. Weigh everything up in your mind. Say, what have I put into this? What am I getting out of this? Is this something that's really serious? Is this something that I can really forgive? You know, think about all of those things. The next card you have, your present, is the Four of Wands. So this card can be about, you know, I see this card as being about welcoming. It can be, you know, it can be about weddings, it can be about parties. I'm seeing people welcoming you in this card. I'm seeing this as actually you spending some time around people who love you unconditionally. This could be close family, this could be close friends, you know, or anyone who makes you feel comfortable and welcome, um, people who don't judge you, and um, they just care about you. So if you can think, you know, if this is something that you're doing at this time, that's really great. If it isn't, this is a message to tell you this is what you need to do. You need to do two things. Spend some time to yourself, by yourself really process everything properly without people in your head telling you what to do, especially this person if this is what they're doing. And also spend some time with people who care for you, who love you unconditionally. You can vent to them, you can let off steam, you can just be yourself around them and they're going to welcome you. Just think about who this is and spend some time around this person, um, someone who's going to be honest with you. And they're going to tell you honestly what you know what they think. Uh, the last card you have your present is death. So yes, death is final. Um, so whatever you have with this person, I am seeing this is going to come to an end um, eventually at some time. If it isn't now, it will probably be some time in the future. Um, I'm sorry if this isn't what you want to hear, but this is what I'm seeing. So um, if you do choose to stay with this person. Uh, I'm seeing that this dishonesty is probably going to either eat you up inside and you're going to want out of this or it's going to keep on surfacing. You might have arguments, it's going to come up in arguments or it might just come up in your head. You might just be around this person and they might, you know, they might, um, they might be messaging someone and you'll be thinking, who are they messaging? Or they might spend a lot of time away from you and you might be thinking, where are they? All of these kinds of things are really going to eat away at you. And if, you know, if this person says to you, you know, um, bury this thing, it's over, don't think about this anymore, you might even feel guilty for bringing this up, but you can't. If this is on your mind, it's on your mind. So I don't think you're going to be able to get over what this is. And also I was seeing in the King, the King of Cups that they're also hiding something else from you. Um, if they're doing that, you know, try and, you know, you might have to try and have a talk with them to resolve this, to find out what this is. But I am seeing, you know, this is the death card. I'm seeing that, you know, even if you do this, do this eventually, um, things will probably come to an end. Um, definitely, because the death card is definite, I'm sorry to say. So um, don't look back, look forward. Because the death card is also about... Um, Sorry, the death card, not the death card. The death card is also about positive beginnings. And you can't let any of these positive beginnings come in if you're still clinging to this person who isn't good for you. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have for your future is um, the Two of Swords. So yes, again, I'm seeing you might still be going backwards and forwards in your head, wondering what to do about this person. You know what I'm seeing. You know what I'm seeing is inevitable anyway. And I'm sorry about that again. That is what I'm seeing. You have the death card. The woman in this card also, she has her arms forming a cross over her heart. It's time to protect your heart. 
Put a cross over your heart. Protect your heart from being hurt from this person. Move on from this person. The other thing I'm seeing is that, you know, you might be isolating yourself a little bit at this time. This is going to take a lot to process what's happened, what they've done to you, what they've said to you, what was hidden. And, you know, there's something else that's also hidden as well. Um, and you might not be finding out what that is. But yes, I'm seeing some people around you might be wanting to talk to you. They might be saying, oh, how are you? And even how are you is going to be difficult for you at this time because you don't want to say, I'm fine, which is lying. But you don't want to say, oh, this terrible thing happened on and on. You just don't want to open up yourself to people at this time. You're going to feel quite isolated. You know, this woman has these two swords up. She doesn't want anyone near her. So I think you're right to do this to a certain extent because there are some people who kind of want a bit of gossip. They want a bit of drama. They kind of want your bad situation to be their entertainment, that kind of person. You don't want to tell those people, obviously. But there are some people around you who care for you, who would really help you to open up to. Um, these are the people um, I was seeing in the Four of Wands. So if you can think of anyone who you really do trust, please talk to whoever this is. This is going to really, really help you. So the next card you have for your future is Strength. So yes, I'm seeing your workplace being very, very busy at this time. And this is really a bad timing for you because you have a lot going on emotionally. You're going to have to take care of yourself, be careful with yourself. And when you have stress going on at work, that's really bad timing. But, you know, I think I'm seeing you actually springing into, you know, step at this time. You're really going to step up to what you need to do. This might actually be a really good time. It might be really good to help you. You might have this kind of thing to concentrate on. It might distract you from how you're feeling at this time. And I'm also seeing that you're going to be feeling like um, strong and disciplined and determined in your workplace. It's like this is the thing that you have. You're always, I mean, you're very disciplined in work. And I think what's going to happen is you're going to say, well, other things in my life are kind of falling apart. Everything's terrible. I don't know. I'm going to concentrate on my work and I have all this stress right now, but I'm just going to focus on this. I'm going to let this distract me. I'm going to put everything into this. And I'm seeing that that's what you're doing at this time. Uh, your strength at this time is going to be in your work. Now, obviously, you can't um, keep on distracting yourself with this forever. I mean, you're going to have to kind of process everything properly, how you're feeling. But at this time, that's what you're going to be doing. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have in future is the Three of Swords. So yes, um, everything in this reading is telling me that this is going to come to an end. I mean, if you're still holding on to this, um, I can't say sorry anymore, but that's just what I'm seeing. All I know is that if it doesn't end now, it's going to end sometime. I, I don't think you can keep on clinging on to this um, dishonest person. And they're still holding things back from you. They're still not telling you everything. There was one big thing that came out and it really hurt you. There's another thing that you still don't know about. That's no way to live. And you know that. I think you do know that. So um, just, you know, you will get through this. Just get these caring people around you. Try to kind of take care of yourself. Go and buy some nice new things for yourself. Do some really lovely, kind things for yourself and get these really um, loving people around you. And, you know, you will get through this. You will get through this. That's what I'm seeing. So, Leo, I won't say I hope this resonated, but um, this if it was, if, if this gets out to the few people it needs to, that's a good thing. Um, but yes, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe. I don't think you will like it, but anyway, uh, leave a comment if you'd like to. Nice ones, please. And thank you so, so much for watching.